Brent Borsio, topvelocity.net. I'm going to do this analysis of Jacob Maurer from camp to six days later when he was 90. So he was 80. He was technically 80 in camp. The same radar had him in 80 at camp, and they had him at 90 um, six days later. You know, people don't understand when guys make quick um, gains in velocity from our camps and our system, and it's, it is it te- is technically more of a mechanical improvement. Because Jacob had a 37-inch vertical jump. He's 6'4". Um, he, you know, one, weighs 195. Uh, he had 500 total body strength. Um, not everything was elite, but he had some elite measurements. And these are typically guys that usually make uh, elite improvements very quickly because sometimes it's biomechanics that are holding the back. But still, he needs to keep making gains athletically because, you know, he, if he wants to get to, say, 95. So this is him at 90 coming out of leg lift. I mean, there's not much we have to really get into if we just put guys at front foot strike. You know, hip-to-shoulder separation is a big part of our system. And if you look at the difference at when he was at camp at 80 or 81, you can see he hits front foot strike right there or right here, and significant difference in hip-to-shoulder separation. You know, he's actually more going towards his arm side. Here he's staying more in line towards the target. He's able to stay closed, that means he's getting more power, more drive uh, into front foot strike in that position, more contralateral tilt. These are all things that studies, which we use these studies, that correlate to more velocity. You can see more triple extension in the leg, a little, little bit more rotation out of this leg. These, so that's the big piece, is going to be the, the leg power that he's put into it now. He gets more triple extension. And the more contralateral tilt, hip to shoulder separation, that's the key to go, you know, when you have decent power in your body for you to go up 10 miles an hour um, from in, in six days is when you can better implement these elite mechanics. Everything else looks very similar at the end. Finishes are very similar. It's just if we hit it front foot strike, we really see these core principles that top velocity represents. And that's the more hip to shoulder separation into triple extension. And that's our most important components of front foot strike. If these two things are happening at maximum power or at your optimal power, you're going to be an elite high velocity pitcher.